I came back to music after a very long period of acting in Hollywood. I did a lot of television and soap operas. And I was really waiting until I felt that I had the maturity or I had something to say that was original to go back to my music. I started doing a lot of jazz. Um, I took improvisational piano. I started to take classical piano. I sang one woman cabaret shows. I worked with some of the great Australian jazz pianists. I really learned so much. A lot of people, their raison d'etre as a musician is to record. But for me, it was to perform. It was always about the performing. I was approached by Jesse Shepard, who asked me to be part of his indie band called Sir, which was something I'd never done. And that was my first album. It was a very indie, kind of monotone band. And I thought, hmm, this is going to be interesting. But it was the most glorious experience. He's an incredible songwriter. And that started this amazing recording journey that I'm still on. The second album, I felt like I wanted to do something more lush. Strings and horns. And we brought in Paul Grabowski uh, as producer. And so it took off in a completely different way. Kind of jazz, uh, orchestral album with very quirky, dark lyrics, which then made me realize that I could write. It's just so amazing when you come to that realization that you can do something that you've always wanted to do. When out to get you, My third album so is once again gone into a very different direction. I would call it dark electro-pop. So it's been a huge learning curve for me to go from total instrumentation to now bringing in electronics. It has been recorded in New York. It's been recorded in London. I was very lucky to meet Ivor Guest. He loved one of my songs, and he's produced that song. And Mark Saunders in New York, he's doing four tracks for me. My manager, Mick Rossi, introduced me to producer Jeff Bova. And Jeff Bova was uh, the find of the century. Uh, he's won a, a Grammy, he's worked with uh, Herbie Hancock touring. He's uh, not only a very accomplished pianist, arranger, composer, but a brilliant producer. I watched him take the music to levels that I, I couldn't believe possible. Jeff has uh, an entourage of the most incredible musicians. It was an absolute dream team for me. Volcano Boy is a mythological song about a beautiful young boy who's born out of a volcano. It's about memory, it's about death, it's about peace, and it's about love. I think the surprise of where the different people that were brought into the process through Jeff that took the album, um, I've never uh, been part of a process like that and it was incredibly exciting for me to see so many brilliant people part of my vision. You know, what I do is not just about creating music. Music isn't just about listening to music, you know, on your iPhone, on your iPod on the radio. I mean, it's about creating your world. It's about the image, it's about the music videos, it's about just every aspect. Online, Facebook, Twitter, it's all happening, you know? It's very different now, the musical experience, I think. Live performance was always what fed me. That was my reason to be an artist, was to perform live. I like people to feel sexy. I do. I like, I like to perform and for people to feel like they want to move, to feel like they want to go home and kiss their partner. I, I like that. I like people to be titillated. I like people to think. I like people to feel sexy. I like people to be entertained. Here I come, baby. I'm ready. So don't hurt your, your pretty head. No, don't hurt your. Show.